My name is Cameron Kahn. I'm an infectious disease physician and scientist at the Center for Research on Inner City Health in the Keenan Research Center in the Lee Cushing Knowledge Institute. Biodiaspora is a, is a scientific project that's dedicated to understanding how the world interacts through international air travel and what that means in terms of the spread of infectious diseases. The way this network operates is extremely important to health and security and prosperity, economic activity in the world. So this is a demonstration of how the system actually works. Now first of all, you see a bunch of circles here and this is information that's coming from our colleagues that are working in the infectious disease surveillance world. And what they're doing is they're monitoring news of infectious disease events or listening, if you will, to chatter on the internet about infectious diseases and doing so in multiple different languages. If we wanted to look at the one in Sri Lanka, for example, this map here gives us some ideas of where the environments are very, very dense in terms of population density. So the areas that are red and black have the highest concentration of people. Uh, we can look at a variety of other factors that may be important to diseases, things like altitude or even uh, humidity uh, or a variety of other different factors. This is looking at Sri Lanka at nighttime when viewed from space. You can see the areas that emit the most light. These are the areas that are the most industrialized. But if we wanted to actually go a step further and look at international air travel, Colombo's airport is located here. And if we want to see how people are moving out of Colombo's airport, we can do so simply by hitting this button. Now, it's actually pulling, amazingly, information on the flight itineraries of over 2 billion people and pulling that information out through our servers and doing so in the span of about one to two seconds. So this is really a first of its kind capability to understand how the whole world is interacting and traveling in real time and connecting that with news of particular infectious diseases in the world in real time. If we think about opportunities for creating new knowledge, most of that untapped potential I think exists at the intersection of scientific disciplines. It's taking a mathematician and a physician, for example, and bringing them together. Or others from disciplines that haven't normally or traditionally interacted with one another. Um, what the Lee Cushing Knowledge Institute does is puts people together from multiple different backgrounds and enables them to interact and explore some of these um, areas of untapped potential at the crossroads of different scientific disciplines.